So why am I focusing on Dr. Hirschfeld? Because this word trans was first used by him and his co co cohort of, of, of um, sexologists and psychologists. And he used it in the context of the word transvestite. Now trans is the Latin word to cross. Vestitus is the Latin word for clothes. So the word transvestite is the same thing as the word crossdresser. This is a hundred years ago. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please smite me. Please cast me to the lions. Please strike me with a bolt of lightning if what I am about to tell you is not the truth. There is no such thing as women's and men's clothes. They are just clothes. They are made from inanimate threads which are woven into cloth. And they are dyed and they are accessorised and they are cut and they are woven to accommodate different body sizes and different body shapes and different fashion trends that wax and wane at the will and wisdom of society. They are just clothes. These inanimate threads, they have not been injected with gendered DNA. <laughs> they have not been dunked in a bath of gendered goo. <clears throat> they are just clothes. But traditionally, we have women's clothes and men's clothes, as tradition goes. But when you're dealing with the management of a person's good mental health and their welfare, tradition must take a back seat. So in today's society, the 21st century, a man who wears a dress is no more a crossdresser than is a woman who wears trousers. <laughs> so, I don't see a pride of lions coming towards me, I don't feel a bolt of lightning, and I have no idea what it feels like to be smited. So what I think I've just said is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth.